friends, my name is Shayla and today I'm here to briefly talk about the things that I plan on reading in the month of February. So this is officially my February TBR video. Um, first up, I'm going to talk about digital arcs that I have that I plan on reading in February. So the first is Photos of You by Tammy Robinson. This is one that I got sent from forever that is out on the 18th, starting over at Blueberry Creek by Annie Rains. This is one that we're continuing on in a small town romance series that I've been reading before, and that one is out on February 25th. Then we have Unforgiven by Jay Crownover, which is another Loveless Texas novel. This one is out also on the 25th. And then we have The Last Heist by Samantha Keith which is out on February 11th. So for digital arcs, that's all I've got right now. If I pick up any of my new releases in February, those can easily make their way into these lists, but I'm not gonna put them in this video because I don't know what I'm picking up yet or not. My budget has changed this year, so I've not been able to pick up quite as many of the new titles as I thought I would be able to, but that's fine. <laughs> Bills are much more important than books. Right now, guys, don't go into debt for books. So quickly, let's talk about um, the Tell It Again book club pick for the month of February, and that is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. We are officially starting our Lunar Chronicles reread, read along kind of situation. So in February, we will be reading Cinder, and this will also count as my reread for the month of February. So for those of you who are unaware, I'm trying to reread one novel and one volume of manga every month or one se manga series every month on my channel. And so this is gonna count as my book reread because I have a lot of books in my collection, but I want to reread them to see if they stand up to the test of time and whatnot. For my January picks, I did do a reread roundup and I will do that again in February as well. So while we're talking about rereads, let's go ahead and pick our manga series out of the handy dandy jar here. So we're gonna do this one. Hopefully it's not a crazy long one. Oh, perfect. It's Angelic Layer. Let me grab it. So Angelic Layer is a battle shounen that is basically a tournament arc. So we're following this really young gal um, and she stumbles into these little battle robots and it's just a tournament arc of her doing these battle robots. It's kind of a VR style situation as well. It's really fun. I loved this. I read this with Bizarre Individual this last in 2019. So I wanted to do a reread in 2020 to see if it holds up to the test of time or not. So I'm hoping so. All right, so there are two readathons I will be participating in in February. One that I am a host of and the other is one that I seem to participate in in every round. And so the first one, they, they're overlapping each other. So we're gonna talk about the ones that I specifically have picked out for contemporary thon first, and then we'll dig into what's left for the manga love readathon. So contemporary thon starts, I want to say it starts the 10th and goes through the 16th is what my gut wants to say. Um, and then the manga love readathon goes from the 14th through the 16th. So I don't remember challenges right off. But I did go through the challenges and I picked these out according to that. So first up on the list, we have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is a crime that I haven't gotten to this one. I've had this on my shelf for a really long time. And so I'm definitely going to be diving into this one so that I can see what everybody loves about it and form my own thoughts and opinions about it. Next up, we have another book of the month pick, and that is Ghosted by Rosie Walsh. This is one where um, I believe there's like a murder mystery and a romance all kind of tied into the same novel, if I remember correctly. That's kind of what's going on there. And then we have Lucky Color by Emma Mills. I was able to pick this one up in January, but I have not gotten to it yet. So I'm going to save it for contemporary a thon and read it then. And then I did pick out two volumes of manga for this round. And the first one is The Golden Sheep, Volume 2. This one deals with some hard-hitting topics, and so that, that's kind of where we're headed is the darker side of things with this one. And it's a lot shorter than I expected it to be because Volume 1 is almost double the size. So here's Volume 1, and then here's Volume 2 next to it. It's almost half the size. It's crazy. So yes, Volume 2 is what we'll be reading. And then we also have Deep Scar by Rosella Sergi. Um, this is one that I just stumbled across when I was at the bookstore, um, and it just 
looks like it's going to be interesting and it's fairly chunky for a Tokyo Pop volume in particular. So I will share my thoughts with this obviously in the blog. So let that's it for strictly contemporary thon. So let's dig into the other manga love readathon titles I'm hoping to get to because there's a lot. <laughs> so first up we have Hatsuharu volume 10 which a lot of these I'm surprised I haven't gotten to yet. So that's kind of where we're at with these. So we've got Hatsuharu volume 10 and then we have Your Lion April volume 6. This is um we're over the halfway point in this series now. I've just been collecting a volume at a time as I find them on sale. So we're just gonna move on with that. And another one that I'm mad at myself and kicking myself that I haven't read yet, and that's Waiting for Spring Volume 12. This might get read before the readathon, but right now I'm counting it towards the readathon to ensure that I read it soon at least, because this is my ship on the cover, guys. Come on. I gotta do this. <laughs> and then I have Volume 8 of Aohara Ride. Again, this is another one that's a crime I haven't gotten to yet. I've just been reading a lot more prose, less manga. Anyways, but yes, this is happening soon. And then we have Daytime Shooting Star Volume 4. Again, same scenario as the others. And then Komi Can't Communicate Volume 4. And again, it's crime. And then we have The Young Master's Revenge Volume 1. This was a gift from Danny over at the Panda Post. And I'm really excited to finally be diving in and reading her gift. And then we also have Silver Spoon Volume 12 because I just, I haven't gotten to it yet. So it's on this list. Then we also have the complete Cheese Sweet Home Part 2 that I plan on reading. This is just cute cat shenanigan manga. There isn't a huge plot or anything to these. These are just fun and fluffy, so I figure I can do a little bit of this at a time to break up some of the other things on the list. And then last but not least for the Manga Love Readathon, I promised you guys I was going to do this, and it's still here, so I'm going to be reading the first two um, master editions, perfect editions, I don't, I don't remember what they're calling these, of Naoki Urasawa's 20th Century Boys. So I, I think these have at least a slight fabulous element to them. I don't remember for sure, but I do know that these are what I'm picking up for Manga Love Readathon, because I've been recommended this series a ton over the years, and so it's just time that I try it. Thanks to Lindsay for sending these on to me. She didn't get along with the series very well, and she and I have to tend, tend to have very similar tastes, not only in manga, but in books as well. So I might not enjoy these, but I want to try it for you guys and let you guys know how I feel about it so I can answer definitively for you. And there's a couple others that I know for sure that I'll be getting to in February. I'm sure there will be other things as well, even though this is a crap ton, but most of that'll be read within a week. So I will have lots of time to read other things. So I know for sure that I will be reading Love Her or Loser by Tessa Bailey. I have not read this one yet. I know, I know, review coming soon. And then the other one will be Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis. I am trying to read a little more nonfiction this year. So as soon as I finish my current nonfiction, I'm picking this one up. So this one will be read soon. I also know it was, I think it was the Goodreads winner for nonfiction last year or self-help. I don't remember, but it's in that category and realm of things. So guys, those are the things that I'm planning on reading in the month of February. Yeah, it's a lot, but that's okay. And I'm genuinely excited. Um, my Manga Love Readathon recommendations video is coming soon, I promise. It'll come after my wrap up, but that's one of my first videos out in February. So I promise it'll be up before the readathon um, at least a week before. So you guys have plenty of time to get that in and get things picked out, ordered, whatever you want so that you aren't feeling like you're falling behind in that regard. So yes, it's a lot. Let me know in the comments down below what you plan on reading in the month of February, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.